What's up guys, Jay Fresh Beats back with another video and today we're talking about how to succeed as a beat maker. What's going on? Welcome back to another video in my quarantine series and today we're not only just talking to beat makers we're also talking to people who just want to do a project as well so let's get into it first things first we're going to talk about the age-old question how many beats should you make a week and i'm definitely going to say three to four beats a week here's the reason why it really should be three but some people could squeeze in four it's based off of their talent. You need to give your brain, which is like a computer, time to reboot. We have beats for days, man, and you gotta have time to reboot and have a different way to create because if you don't, it'll start sounding the same and you don't want it to start sounding the same. So just give it some time. Second tip is where should you post it? Well. You should definitely post it to BeatStars or your website, of course, wherever we can find it. Secondly, you should also focus on one social media platform at a time, especially if you don't have a big community or anything like that. And this is where I've gotten distracted because I wanna go here, I wanna go there, I want the whole world to see it, but sometimes the whole world is not always going to see it. So if you focus on one platform and just grow that one platform like BeatStars and Instagram or BeatStars and Facebook, you're definitely going to get a better turnout than going to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, so on and so forth. Now I'm not saying do not post on those sites. I am saying that you should post on there, but not as much as you should focusing on uh, BeatStars and Facebook or BeatStars and Instagram. Just find that one platform that's working for you and it will definitely give you the results that you were looking for. Third is to create an email list. Yes, an email list. A lot of people don't do emails these days, but nowadays it's better than ever, especially since we are quarantined. It's better to just have an email list and send it out to people. Now, I'm not saying email and spam everybody because you will get spammed. No, I'm saying take that email list and email them bi-weekly. That's right, bi-weekly. So every two weeks, email them the six beats that you have made because you're supposed to make three to four each week. Email them six beats and I guarantee you, you might get a sale. And last and certainly not least, create a relationship with your artist. It doesn't matter whether it's your artist or artist that you've worked with in the past, create a relationship with them. If you create a relationship with them and continue following up with them, they're most likely to work with you again and not only work with you again, they're also most likely to buy a beat from you. It's just that easy. If this information helped you, leave a like and leave a comment. Also, if you want more information just like this, hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we make a video just like this one. Also, grab some merch from us, fam. We definitely have merch on our website. It's not just this hat, but it's also hats just like this. It's hoodies, it's lettermans. Man, you name it, we have it. All at jfreshbeats.com. So definitely check that out. The link will be in the description below. And remember, life without music is a mistake and he who controls you controls your music. Alrighty guys, peace.